Welcome back to another episode on the Hermitcraft server, everybody. I hope you guys are all having a great day. Look at the moon, guys. It's big. It's like at least eight banana now. And there's blocks flying everywhere. Things are getting kind of crazy on the server these days. I was floating. Oh, okay. <laughs> what timing is that? Oh my God, I'm floating in the air. Okay, yeah, that's a thing. We're floating. Anyways, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try to go on like everything is normal. Oh God, this is gonna be a nightmare. Anyways, uh, great episode plan for you guys today. But before we get in, we gotta do the question of the day. The question I have for you today is Minecraft just hit a trillion views on YouTube. That is a lot of numbers. That's like a bunch. Anyways, I'm curious, who was the first ever Minecraft creator you watched on the platform? Let me know down in the comment section below, everybody. Anyways, like I said, we got a lot to do in today's episode. I've got some collab content to show you with Corrales and Zombie Cleo. That's going to be a lot of fun. Ooh, bouncy bounce. Oh my God, that's so much fun. Anyways, like I said, got collab content. We're going to be working on the base some more. Let's get into it. But first, a quick word from today's video sponsor. I would like to thank today's video sponsor, Baiju's Future School. Baiju's Future School is a leading online platform revolutionizing education for millions of students worldwide. Baiju's students experience personalized attention through one-on-one -on -one or one-on-four live classes with classes in coding, math, and music. Their current curriculum offers coding and music courses for grades 1 through 12 and math courses for grades 1 through 8. They also offer coding classes that feature Minecraft and Roblox. Mods in Minecraft have been a part of the game for a very long time, and they've also had a very big presence in our community for a long time. Learning how to make these mods has always felt very out of reach to me. Having this option to learn from people that have gaming knowledge as well as knowing how to teach is a huge benefit to anyone wanting to make Minecraft mods. Be sure to check out the link in the description. Everyone who signs up and completes the free trial class will be eligible to receive a $25 Minecraft gift card. Thank you again to Baiju's Future School for sponsoring today's video. So to get started with today's episode, I had an idea for a new business on the server. I feel like the moon is causing people to lose their minds. So I think I can capitalize on that and make some diamonds off of it. The moon is very big business, people. We got to earn them diamonds. So my idea was to try to sell hermits moon boots. Let me introduce you to the iJevin Slime Company's premier product. Moon Boots Ultra trademarks. That's right, because any product that's trademarked is obviously not a scam at all. I have a terms and condition book that is very, very legit. Obviously, there's nothing on the other pages at all. We're just not responsible for your lost or damaged boots, but the technology behind these boots, wow, it's outstanding. Just saying, if you get yourself a Moon Boots Ultra TM, you're going to survive the moon. That's, that's all there is to it. Yep. So I've met up with some of my fellow Hermes to try to sell them my premier boots. So let's see how that goes. Paralysis buddy, have I got a deal of a lifetime for you? Hello? Hello, hello. Jivin? Hi, good sir. Oh, hi, Jivin. Hi, hi. hi. So, so. How are you um, doing? With, you with, green with man. a huge moon going on and everything going on, I decided to invest in some technology and I would like oh. to pre present you with a very special offer today. Are you interested, sir? Like, like, I don't want to be the guy. Is this a scam? No, definitely not a scam. 100% safe. You can trust the Jevin. You can trust the slime. Uh, Slimes don't lie okay. to you. All right. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so, what you got? I've got these very sophisticated moon boots. They are going to protect you from all Ultra of the moon's effects. Trademark. When you're when you're when you're building and you're floating up in the air and all of this stuff it's it's yeah all of that all of that's gone it's it's gonna go away so i'm gonna say they, they they're like super stylish i like them on my oh, feet yeah. they feel comfy yeah. however what's what's the catch there's uh, gonna be a catch oh no catch just trying to help my fellow hermits out i promise you 100 percent not a scam we used a lot of science technology went into this it's perfect I think you sit on a front. You know what you sound like? You sound like a, a used car salesman at this stage. <laughs> um, but, but I love the boots, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I, I really like your spacesuit and the, the, the whole space station. Man, that thing is awesome. We're just Ooh, see. 
Mm -hmm. Listen, if I would have if I would have had my boots on right there, I wouldn't have been floating. That's just how it works. Listen, I'm gonna put the pair on. Mister, Mister, I listen, had my boots on. Listen, only do, see you're not the owner yet. That is, so it doesn't count, right? Once you oh. exchange diamonds, then I will activate how the boots work <laughs> and we go this from is, there this so. is a scam from of the century i gotta feel like but no, i do love it's no just scam watch moon just, moon just wait only demonstrations from now on just wait till i throw right. up in the air again yes and I'll, i will prove it to you oh, okay I, I'm, well okay <laughs> you're so like, you're like you're like this is definitely definitely a scam i promise you it's not a scam but, well you know what this is kind of like a little bit of a coincidence all right because I've just decorated my space station and I bought uh, seven spacesuits. However, I did not have enough leather for the boots. So it's kind of like a coincidence, but I feel that this is a trick. Oh, no, definitely not. Listen, if you buy, mm -hmm. the, if you buy the boots and you don't like them, I will give you a refund. But you got to wait for the terms and conditions to get the refund. So you got to read through the book that I got here which you can do now at a later date, whatever. But once you once you read the book, uh, terms of yeah. conditions, Moonboost Ultra is not responsible for any deaths. Yep. There's, you know, make sure that you read the whole thing. But if, if you uh, don't, there's pretty much nothing, man. So if you don't like them, you can always return them. No big deal. There's no conditions besides uh, you're not responsible for any deaths. That's about it. I do kind of accept the conditions, but okay. how much? Uh, all right. How well, much would that okay. set me back? So you said that you just bought a bunch of spacesuits. How many spacesuits did you buy? I got I got seven seven white ones. All mm -hmm. right. So I will give you seven pairs of Ultra Moon boots, TM, trademark. <laughs> Don't be using my, my brand to complete your spacesuits and save all of your hermit friends for the low low price of one diamond block i feel that's a great deal it is a great can they save oh. you from, from from these uh i don't think anything can save us from these guys i hate those guys <laughs> yeah, okay you worst. know what so one diamond block and if they don't work on on the levitation i get a refund you said right absolutely absolutely oh, okay. you will get a refund Oh yeah, I like I like I like the sound of that. Okay, worry about uh, one diamond block. So I don't yep. really have per se diamond blocks like that. But you got Perfect. nine diamonds over here. You know what? Get one extra because oh, you're oh. nice. And I really needed the boots. Nice. However, I still feel I, I feel scammed. But you know what? I'm not gonna be the guy. Thank you so much. Seven type of time. I'm sorry. Yeah, I like you that. Feel scammed. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Just be sure to read the entire terms and conditions to make sure that you understand fully how the boots work. And if you still are unhappy, we will be happy to provide a refund per se. Okay, I just I just read it. There was nothing in there. Besides, oh, there's, there's just more stuff for... in there. Just make sure that you read all the pages. You took the book. Did I? Yeah. Oh, okay. You can have it back. There you go. Didn't all realize right. I had it in my see. inventory. Sorry about that. If okay, if this is if this is the trick, if you wrote something on page. 100. Oh, I would never I'm gonna do be that. So oh, oh my disappointed. God, back. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, I'm I'm dying. Boots save me. Boots better save you. Boots will save me. They do give you to get killed. Oh my god. You did. No refunds. <laughs> Me take up to for two days to effects to be <laughs> negated. Listen, I'm out of here. Knew this. For I knew diamonds. this was a scam. No, come back. I want my bunny back. No, look, I'm gone. Dude. Hello? Hello, Cleo. How are you? I, I, Jess. Uh, I've been better. How are you? Oh, yeah, the, things are a little different today. <laughs> they're, they're, they're a bit much. Yeah, I'm not it's... gonna lie. Oh. I mean, I've seen this happen before, but never like this much yeah. or this high. Like going. The, the first time that it happened, I was like <laughs> inside working on my base. And I heard uh -huh. all this noise, and I'm like, oh my god, what is that? And I went outside, and things were moving, and I was started freaking out. I know, way, it's like... Lovely castle. Yeah. Lovely castle. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not sure how long it's going to stay standing, oh, but I thank know, you. Right? Yeah. All right. <laughs> so the reason why I'm here is because I have a great offer for you. Are you interested in listening to my offer? I mean, I'm always interested in listening to your offer. Okay, the last okay. time, it got me everything I absolutely needed ever. Perfect. So... <laughs> 
The iGevin yes. Slime Company has come up with some new technology to help save you from all of this mayhem that's going on on the server. Let me put okay. it to you. Moon Boots Ultra trademarked. And you know you mm -hmm. can trust something that's trademarked. You definitely <laughs> didn't slap anything on there. It's it's world cutting technology. It's gonna it, save it's you. Cutting edge. Okay, it's gonna save yeah. me from um stuff. Yeah, definitely. Oh, as is it also gonna save me from things? Uh, only if Slipgator gave them to you. <laughs> yes. Wow. I, I caught See... that reference. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the deal. Right, you put the boots on, mm -hmm. and then They're once on. you once you buy them, I will activate the technology, and I will give you the terms and conditions. We're just oh, okay. We're just making sure we're not uh, liable for any deaths or any lost items or anything well, I, like that. I mean, I've got netherite feather falling four boots. These are better, is what you're telling me. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Especially and for the low, low price of one diamond, who can beat that, right? Okay. So uh, it, I notice. The, uh -huh. I do notice there are a hundred pages to this contract. Um, you definitely don't need to read that at all. No. Will not no. replace if lost or stolen. Okay. Yeah, I just, don't need to read any of this. No, no. So basically, just gonna it's just a lot of legal mumbo jumbo. You don't really... I mean, know. it's been two sensitive. I'm quite good at reading like two sentences. It's fine. Yeah, it's it's, it's totally fine. Oh, fine. I'm on page 75, 80. Oh, no. <laughs> I just, just, just... No. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Listen, all I'm saying is you're floating and I'm not. Yeah, and I don't even have them on. That's the technology That's that true. we got. What potion did you just drink? I didn't drink a potion. I don't know what you're talking about. I think you're losing your mind. I, I definitely, no, I definitely. No, definitely didn't drink anything. No. Okay, you know what? It's, 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 it's a lot. It's a lot. Um, How much do you want for them? I just want one diamond for those boots. I mean, you know... Okay, you can have a diamond. Ooh. That's that's fine. Do you do you really need me to sign this contract? Because no, actually, you thinking... already signed it by opening it. That is that is legally binding. So that's that's not how that works. I'm gonna leave now. Thank you for the diamond. I keep, uh, bye. Uh, no. I hope you guys enjoyed those collabs. That was so much fun trying to get them to pay for those boots. <laughs> I had a great time. So our first project that we're gonna be taking care of today is finishing up this back wall. So this is kind of a farm room. Now, the only two things that I really need farmed are paper and food. And we have been eating golden carrots this entire season. So we're gonna make some villager farms back here. I can't decide how many I wanna put in here though. I, I think I'm actually going to make two of them probably. I will have our normal wall right here, and then I'm gonna have a farm here and a farm here, and then we'll most likely, oh, I'm floating. <laughs> We're doing the floaties. Land, come on. Hey, there we go, there we go. I actually kind of, I think it's kind of funny to be honest with you, because like, anytime I ever mess up in my base, I have to like block up, and I, I'm using the jump boost to my advantage, and I don't know why it's happening, but I like it. Actually, that's not true, I know why it's happening. The moon is like losing its mind, that's why it's happening. But um, I think what we're gonna do is either do two or four farms. We'll have a villager in the direct center to access all of those farms. So I'm thinking two might be better. Uh, obviously these are very straightforward to get done. So the first thing that I need to do is actually just dig the space out. So I'm gonna get that taken care of pretty quickly. And then we'll come back and set up the mechanism for uh, the entire farm. And then we're gonna get some villagers bred up from our other uh, trading hall and we'll get moving. So let's get to it guys. The planning phase is pretty much finished. I've got everything laid out the way that I want it. So basically we've got our main wall here. We're gonna have viewing windows into each one of these farms so we can see what our villagers are doing. Our central villager where the other ones will come and share their food will sit in the middle right there. We'll have hopper mine carts with hoppers underneath feeding into a central chest. That's where we'll get our food from the collection. And other than that, I mean, the farms are pretty, pretty normal. And we'll have extra farmland here, which I think I'm gonna hide water underneath of this block in this block. That should work out pretty well. 
So other than breeding the villagers, I've got to do some like decor stuff, but that's pretty straightforward. With these types of farms, you want to get everything up and running before you do any type of design work. Now, one thing that I noticed was wrong with my sugarcane farm. We had plenty of sugarcane on this side, but over here, I noticed that there was a hopper missing and we've actually been making bone meal now i haven't been on the server much in the last couple of days so we only have like 28 bone meal in there but it's good to know that my bone meal uh overflow system is working but uh, i did fix that so we're good to go there um i'm excited though so let's go ahead and get our villagers bred up in all of the like little mechanic stuff in here should be pretty easy to do let's get it done So the farm is done. I've been having fun with bees. Now, I've actually never really used bees in Minecraft before. They're kind of escaping through my the little hatch over here. So let's close that off for a second so I can explain things. So first and foremost, I've been in this, this region for about two hours now, and the sugarcane farm is actually working pretty well. Now, remember, we have a lot of sugarcane, so we don't need a ton to get started. Now the farms took about an hour to make and the carrot production is about an hour in. Granted, you gotta remember, we did bone meal this entire thing. So, wow, we have got a lot of carrots so far. So pre-starting with a lot of bone meal, we've gotten about nine stacks of carrots, which is absolutely fantastic. So in terms of the beehives, we have that extra line. So I put the alliums over there. I'm going to do it uh, and put beehives in here in just a second as well. I don't want any of my mobs to leave. So, oh, this is like the absolute perfect time to float, man. Are you kidding me? Oh, the floating is getting really annoying. I really thought it was going to be helpful at first, but now I'm just learning that it's annoying <laughs> and kind of terrifying, actually. OK, so we have three more beehives. This one has two bees, two bees and two so this one now i don't know okay there is a wall i know one okay there's actually walls behind there i'm proud of myself so beehive and beehive and beehive so we have four bees in here now i do want to get out of here oh i didn't finish that wall i didn't finish that one either wow i guess i'm slacking huh what am i doing with my life guys hold on i, I can't move Hmm. <laughs> I better start uh I better start getting these guys in my inventory pretty quickly here. All right, get this over here. All right, cool. Make sure that I've uh got all my bee friends on the lassos here so if they decide to escape. No. <laughs> I was so close. My okay, everybody. So, I've got all of the bees in there. I have no idea if this is even going to work. Let me know. Will this work? Because again, never messed with bees before. I have no idea. So I'm hoping that uh, they will target the alums and then uh, fertilize all of the rest of the crops and bone meal them so we get more carrots. Oh, we're getting carrots, guys. We have, we're have we team carrot all of a sudden. So anyways, before we end the episode, there was something else I wanted to check out. Up here at the entrance of my portal, there's this big wall here. Now, I believe this is from Cubfan. Let me know in the comments if I'm wrong there, though. Uh, moon prophecy is real. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Look at this painting. Ah, yes, indeed. Big moon, big skull, coincidence? I don't know, man. Save yourself and your pets, but mostly your pets. That's funny. Uh, get some nice light and night first, but still, I have no idea what that means. Is Cubs selling something in our shop or something? Or what's going on there? Let me know down in the comment section below. Thank you again to Baiju's Future School for sponsoring today's video. Be sure to check out the link and complete your free Minecraft coding class to claim your $25 Minecraft gift card. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this fun episode. I had a lot of fun building these farms. There's something about the simplicity of building Minecraft farms that I just, I really like. And I hope that you guys enjoy them too. 
anyways i hope that we oh shakies i hope that you guys enjoyed the video let me know about the bee farm in here if this is gonna work or not or if i should just remove them and uh question of the day and all the links and check out everything and if you enjoy the video make sure you subscribed otherwise i hope you guys all have a great day this is i jevin peace out